Hi folks, how's it going? I'm heading up Ben and Dope for hopefully a, a summit camp. Last minute decision to dump the crampons because uh, these two mountains are looking pretty much snow free. Could be different when I'm at the top though. Right folks, we are making steady progress. We're almost at the Bialik. And when we reach these crags, we will head up around the back here. That's us at the Bialik now. I'm a quick breather. Let some of these people get up ahead so I can do a quick vlog. <laughs> Aye, it is a grand day. It's chilly in that window. Right, I'm going to push on, I think. I'll probably catch these guys up, I reckon. So I last did these Munro's back in 2009. And I had that early enthusiasm. We just sort of go out in wind and rain just to get the bag, get the tick, get that Munro done. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got lost at the top of Benadofi. My friend, he wanted to head directly off the summit. And I was like, no, 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 we retrace our steps. He's like, no, we go straight down. So I had that doubt in my mind, believed him. We got in a little bit of difficulty, sort of craggy terrain. And then the clouds just lifted for a few seconds and it just showed us the way to go. And then we went back down to the, the Bialik. We weren't far off, but uh, yeah, just that moment of intervention when the clouds opened up. And other news, that is me just about to hit the first snow of 2023-24. Almost at the summit, folks. So close. <laughs> that was a busy sum up there. One chap's playing music at a Bluetooth speaker really loud. They're wanting summit selfies and all that, so I'm like, right, I'll be able to leave you to it. I'm going to push on to this west top, because that is the one that has apparently got the best views. So, uh, let's crack on and have a look. Alright, wow. Look at the views. Sue Berbos. Wow. This definitely has got the best views. Check it out folks, check it out. Stunning. Big set of crags here by the way folks. Watch your foot in. <laughs> Alright folks, that is the tent up and if you haven't already guessed, you'll realise this isn't my usual tarp tent scarp. This is their new ultra version, which is made of the TNT material, which I believe is sailcloth. And first impressions, it goes up exactly the same 
as the still nylon scarp tent, identical. The uh, the middle rod is still a bit of a pain to get in. It's got that knack to sort of tilt it up and then push down. Uh, the magnetic holder isn't very strong, so a red on line you're actually better turning it in the way, which is a bit counterintuitive because you always want to turn it that way. So I turned it in ways. It is holding, but it just takes a little knock and that comes away again. I do believe Tarp Tent have took that on board and will sort that. But uh, yeah, it's a cracking tent. Uh, I'll need to get on the scales. I'll probably do a review of it and then I will then pass it on to somebody else to have a shot of. It's not mine to keep. It's just uh, got a loan of it from Tarp Tent, so that was really good of them. Obviously it's going to be a cold one tonight. I've got the Rab Alpine 600 and underneath I have got the Sinmat uh, down version and it's rectangular so it's nice and snug. Seems like that's me got the mountain to myself now. I knew that would happen at some point. Uh, no other wild campers have certainly turned up anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to wander back up to the summit. Although this is not the actual summit, this is just another top. There's three in total. And do you know what? When I was here back in 2009, it's weird. Uh, we wandered around and touched three cairns but never seen any views. So uh, to see it in stunning winter conditions is absolutely Super boss, honestly, it's great. magnetic clip is useless by the way. Your back scrapes off it, just falls away. So what I've done is just clipped it onto one of these straps that are for the uh, crossover poles and that's holding it in place. Not long till sunset and it's going to be a long night. <laughs> Folks, the sun has set. I do not need sunglasses. I'm going inside. It's uh, minus four currently outside, so it is no uber freezing, but definitely are going to be a cold one tonight. I need to think about rustling up some dinner as well because uh, I'm getting pretty hungry. Yeah, let's get something on the go. Dinner tonight is the five bean. Castlore, is that you can use it? And what I'm going to do first is I've put 20ml of bioethanol in my little burner. Got my lighter. I'm just going to put them in my pocket next to my body and hopefully they'll warm up nicely and it should light pretty much first time and get a decent flare. So, Billy No Mates this weekend. Kevin has got the Lurgy. Or just recovering. Uh, Mrs. Stripey, he he was just recovering from the Lurgy as well. So they've both got man flu. Big Stevie had a leak. Um, Greg couldn't make it. So I thought, yeah, I'll just solo it. You know what it's like though? I woke up this morning at uh, six o'clock and it was cosy. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to sack it. It's so easy to do when you're going out on your own. Um, it's just to sack it. So I do prefer going out with people because you're more motivated, but I pushed myself and uh, I got out here in the end, so I'm glad I did because it's, it's been a fantastic night so far. It's an absolute tip in here, like. Good morning, campers. It is uh, 10 to 7. Got another hour to uh, sunrise. As you can probably hear, since last night, 
the winds have picked up considerably. I reckon, well, I don't think it's that strong. I reckon 20 miles per hour maybe. It's hard to gauge about the Kestrel. And the TNT fabric definitely seems a bit louder than still nylon. That is quite loud. I've not really slept because of that for the last few hours. It didn't help, I had a pee on deck that I should have really dealt with, but I just held on to it. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one that holds on to a pee for way longer than necessary. Come on here, get out. bog is frozen solid so that is always a brucey bonus thankfully i'm out that wind chill that was freezing right that is me on the path back to bridge of orke it is really icy underfoot in places so i am just going to carefully pick my way down back towards the village with regards to the scarp tent it's uh, my first night in it I do hope to use it a few more times before I have to move it on to the next person. I'll do a, probably a more in-depth review of it, but at the end of the day, it's a scarf. It does pretty much what the Sil Nylon one does. It's just a much stronger material, but there's uh, pros and cons to both, which I'll go over in another video. But if you've watched this far, thank you very much, and I'll catch you next one. Cheers.